Hey beautiful people, in today's episode of The Quaint Pursuit, we're going to be making leggings, so keep watching. For these leggings, you're going to need a pattern, a pincushion with some pins, fabric scissors, a tape measure, and you're going to need fabric. I recommend spandex or any fabric that stretches four ways. If you don't have a pattern, check out my last video. The link is going to be in the description. In that video, I showed you how to cut out the leggings as well, but I'm going to just do a quick recap in this video. So first you want to fold your fabric in half, either right sides together or wrong sides together. I'd recommend right sides together. You're going to place your pattern on top and pin into place for stability. Once you're all pinned up and stable, cut along the edges of your pattern to cut your pattern from the fabric and be sure not to cut the actual paper because fabric shears should not be used on paper. That's gonna dull your scissors. After you've cut out all around the pattern, remove all the pins and now we have two pieces. Fold it in half just to see how it's going to look and if you have a little overlap there, that's fine because what's going to happen is that once you stitch it, that's going to be barely noticeable. So next we're going to cut the waistband and to cut the waistband you're going to fold a piece of fabric in half and you're going to place the fold symbol of the waistband pattern on the fold of the fabric, pin the pattern into place and you're going to cut along the edges of the pattern just like we did with the body of the leggings. When you remove your pins, you should end up with a piece like this. And now we're gonna take the body of the leggings. It should be two pieces and I cut mine wrong sides together. So now what I'm doing is placing my fabric pieces right sides together instead. You wanna make sure that you align all the pieces And once that's done, what we're gonna do is to pin along these edges. So I'm gonna get my trusty pin cushion and I'm gonna pin along the back and front crotch seam of my leggings. And we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and stitch it in a bit. For this, I'm using a size 12 needle. I have an industrial sewing machine. If you have a domestic sewing machine, then use a ballpoint jersey needle. Here, I'm just stitching half of an inch away from the edge of the fabric, and I am doing that on both the back and front seam. And as soon as I'm done stitching that, I remove the pins. You might want to remove the pins as you stitch to avoid having the needle of your sewing machine jam against the pins. What I'm doing here is actually a new trick that I figured out. I pretty much folded the raw edge in by a quarter of an inch and I stitched it down. So it's kind of an alternative to serging and also an alternative to French seams. I'm doing that on both the back and front seam. So this is what your leggings should be looking like so far. Here 
you're gonna take the crotch of the front and the crotch of the back you're gonna match them the seams and you're gonna put a pin right there then the aim is now to put pins along the legs of this legging. So this part would be considered the inseam. So we're just going to put pins all along here. And once we're done with that, we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch half of an inch away from the edge. And we're one step closer to having a pair of leggings for jogging, for running, for doing yoga, for biking, for going to the gym, for kids, for adults. Here, I'm just kind of flattening my fabric to make sure that everything is peachy keens. And like I said, I'm stitching half of an inch away from the edge. By the way, I'm using a Singer Industrial Straight Stitch Sewing Machine and if you want to learn how to thread it, then check out this video in the top right hand corner. Once you're done stitching, remove your pins. This is where I'd recommend actually turning your leggings inside out, trying it on for size and making sure that it actually fits you. Because what we're gonna do now is to add the waistband. For the waistband, fold your waistband piece right sides together and stitch half of an inch away from the raw edge. Once that's done, you're going to trim up your threads and the side that's opposite from the seam, you're going to put a notch at the top and the bottom. Then you're going to fold it in half, matching that seam and matching the notches and your fabric should be wrong sides together in this case once you have those pieces pinned and identified you're gonna take your leggings and you're gonna match the seam of the waistband with the back seam of the leggings pin that into place and you're gonna match the notches that you made with the front seam of the leggings. Pin that into place as well. Once that's pinned, take it to your sewing machine and stitch half of an inch away from the edge. You're stitching the waistband to the top of the leggings. Make sure that while you're stitching, you're using half of an inch allowance and make sure that you are stretching as you go along. If you're new to sewing, I would recommend pinning your waistband all the way around before doing this. I'm able to freestyle this because I'm an experienced sewist and I find it easier to stitch without pins and it's less time consuming for me but i would prefer for you to take your time so that you can get a really nice pair of leggings made even myself as an expert could benefit from pinning this and i just want to say if you want to check out a video where i show you how to make high-waisted shorts elastic waistband shorts as well as joggers then check out my sewing playlist that's in the description box down below when you turn your leggings out, this is how it should look. And now we're gonna stitch the hem of the leggings. What I'm doing here is just folding my hem in by half of an inch and stitching. And I'm stretching while I stitch. But again, as a beginner, I would recommend for you to fold your fabric inwards and pin into place before you actually stitch and remove your pins as you stitch. If this part of your leggings happens to be a little bit too big, then you can always do some adjustments. And don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to alter your clothes very soon. So be sure to subscribe to The Quaint Pursuit for more sewing videos pattern making videos and entrepreneurship videos. This is how my leggings turned out and 
If you want to stay up to date with what I'm going to make next, then follow me on Instagram and check out my sewing playlist, check out my pattern making playlist, and I can promise that you are on your way to making some really amazing clothing for yourself and your family, and you could even start a business out of it. Actually, I started my business learning to sew on YouTube. So I'll see you in the next one.